this chapter we're going to find out about full costing or absorption costing. The aim of this method is to work out the total cost or full cost of a product or service. To do this, we have to allocate all of its specific costs, its direct costs, together with a proportion of the costs shared by all the company's products, the indirect costs. In this method, we will therefore not distinguish the variable costs from the fixed costs as required by the direct costing. Full costing, or absorption costing, is more widespread in a production economy. In particular, it answers the question, what selling price should be set to cover all costs incurred by the company and produce the desired unit profit. Full costing, or absorption costing, is based on an analysis by product or service. Full costing, or absorption costing, involves three stages before arriving at full cost, or total cost. For all products or services linked to a given activity and for a given period, first stage, allocating direct costs to products or services. Second stage, dividing indirect costs into various groupings, the cost centers. Third stage, allocating indirect costs to each product or service. You are a senior manager in a company that manufactures all types of bicycles, mountain bikes, trail bikes, road bikes, etc. A competitor launches a woman's city bike on the market at 195 euros excluding VAT. The director of your company proposes to counter the competitor's move by also launching a new woman's town bike. What might its full cost be? Can your company be competitive? To answer these questions using a number of exercises, we're going to apply full costing or absorption costing to calculate the total cost. Based on this total cost, we can confirm or reject this proposal. Which direct costs are purchasing costs? and which are sales costs. No. Plastics, consumables and subcontracted items are bought in products. Their costs are therefore purchasing costs. Commission for the sale representatives responsible for distributing the new bike is a sales cost. We therefore have 75 euros of purchasing costs and 7 euros of sales costs. The total of the direct costs for manufacturing the women's town bike therefore comes to 82 euros.